Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 10th video of Windows Server uh, 2012 step by step tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to deploy network printer by using group policy. So let's have some idea about my demo environment. So in my demo environment I am using 4 virtual machine. The first one is Win2K12 DC01 which is my Active Directory server. If you want to go and verify this is my Active Directory server went to get 12 hyphen dc01 i have installed active directory dns role on this server so be, this is basically my active directory server and the second server is win 2 get 12 srv01 which is my member server you can see win 2 get 12 r2 srv01 this is my uh, member server which is joined in my domain uh, uh, I have not installed any role any features for now in this server so this is a just blank server I have installed operating system rename it configure IP address and join machine in domain that's all so I have two uh, two client machine win a uh, win 7 CL1 and win 8 CL1 uh, uh, both are, are like one for Windows 7 and one for Windows 8 so here is my Windows 8 machine if you want to verify you can verify so these machine are under the domain uh, go to properties and this is windows 7 machine so here it is is in domain windows 8 machine and here is windows 7 machine both are under my domain so let's have some idea about my <coughs> step by step uh, things so step by step task to deploy network printers by using group policy so f the first thing we have to set up and install a print server so i'm going to install print server role on my uh, win2k12 uh, win 2k12 r2 srv01 so here it is here is my srv01 go to manage add role and features next and click next role based and feature based installation here is our server click next and from here I'm going to select print and document services and add required features click next click next no need to add any features and here the role services we need to select only print server here and click next and click on install so this will install the uh, print server and required role uh, uh, role uh, like you can say the role administrator tool like print management so it will take a few minutes to get the installation done for uh, print server so the installation is started on Win2K12 R2 SRV01 just wait to finish the installation So the installation is succeed and we can close it and now you can see the print services are installed as a role and we can go to next step which is install new printer to print management and share the printers. So I am going to open the print management from tools. So here is the print 
uh, print management and under the print server you can see our our printer server which is win 2k12 r2 srv01 which is local and we have a driver section where all the pre-installed driver are uh, listed and we have a form we have a ports and printers which is installed on this server so so we have one printer installed in server so I am going to define first port for our printer add printer and I am going to map printer with sta uh, static IP address so standard TCP IP port new port and click next and I am going to define my IP address for printer like 201 next it will detect the printer model and I and the driver versions so for right now I have not printer connected with this server so it will give you just option to add a standard TCP IP port only so it is searching for TCP IP destruction I'm going to define a generic network card click next and finish and you can see the port is added here and same I'm going to add one more uh, one more port so click next and type the IP address 192 oh, like 202 same add generic network card and so we have two IP address TCP IP port mapped and now I'm going to add you can say driver so I'm going to add two HP printer here you can say click next and my driver for my 64 bit as my server is 64 bit and just wait for retrieving all list of drivers so select HP the first I am going to install HP color laser Z 1600 classic driver and click finish and you can see here is our driver added and same I am going to add one more driver here S with HP to like you can say 2500 click next and finish so we have two driver added we have two port ready and now I am going to add two printers add printer and select the <coughs> print cube which we have created and here 201 IP and click next and install from the driver which we have just done our computer our server click next and type the like printer name so I'm going to use SP1600 and I'm going to use the same name for the shear printer name and click next next and installing printer it will take few seconds to done the installation for printer here you can see come a uh, printer installation success you have uh, your printer has been installed successfully S click finished and here you can see HP 1600 and one more printer we need to add 202 next and driver SP colors 2500 click next 
and the model number we need to select HP 1500 copy it and paste here click next next and uh, it's installing printer installation is done so both the printer has installed and now move to next step which is create a group policy to deploy printers so I'm going to uh, create a group policy from tools I'm on uh, my Active Directory server going to launch tools and group policy management and before doing this I want to show you where is my computers or users so in Active Directory you can see I have one OU which is India and under the workstation I have created I have joined uh, put it both my client machine Windows 7 and Windows 8 so the path is Vector InfoSol India workstation so I'm going to do one thing domain Vector InfoSol going to extend India and under the workstation I'm going to right click and create a GPU and in this domain and link here so click here and I'm going to type name deploy printers click OK so we have a GPU created at workstation OU and if you go to settings you can see it's generating report so for now you can see computer configuration enable no setting deployed and for the users also no setting de defined so let's move to next phase which is deploy printer to a respective group policy so I'm going on my uh, SRV01 server and right click on printer the first is 1600 and from there we need to uh, click on deploy with group policy so I'm going to click on it and browse so GPU name we need to browse and go to path where we have a GPU india.vectorinfosol.com to workstation this is the GPU we have created earlier which is deploy printers so I'm going to select this one and we have two option the computer that is uh, that this GPU applied uh, we need uh, we can apply uh, this GPU uh, deploy printer by using user basis or machine basis so I'm going to use this as a machine for a machine so select the this uh, per machine and going to click add and this will add the printer here and add you can see printer name GPO and connection per machine so click on apply and printer deployed or remove operation success so click OK close it and same under the deployed printer you can verify we have one printer which is we have just deployed and now I'm going to deploy a second printer which is 2500 deploy with group policy and the same I'm going to browse my path deploy printers click OK per machine click add and you can see the printer name deploy printers and per machine so click OK and now you can see that under the deploy printer both printer are listed here so we are good to go and just verify deploy printer on the respective globe policy we have done earlier and if we refresh this one we will receive the both printer here you can see under the computer configuration enable policies windows printer configuration we have both printer as defined here so to check the client machine for right now I am going to open the uh, open the device device and printers on my Windows 8 machine devices and printers on my 
<coughs> Windows 7 machine I am going to launch also so you can see we have only one printer selected here um, both printer is not installed which we have deployed and on the windows so I am going to do one thing I am going to run gp update slash force command no need to run as administrator so I am going to type gp update slash force here and on windows 7 machine also gp updates slash force so you can see both user and computer policy has refreshed you can refresh here and you can see you can do one thing you can log off and log in back so I'm going to log off from both machines and once the, we logged in we can see both printer are available in, under devices and printers so refresh it and go log off from Windows 7 client also and I'm going to log in back So now you can see we have HP 1600 and HP 2500 both printer is installed from GPU and on Windows 7 just wait for a few seconds let me log in back to my Windows 7 client machine and if you see you can see from here to properties you can see these detail here you can see like IP address of printers and drivers everything is listed here so going to logged in back on Windows 7 client machine here we are and going to open um, devices and printers here we are we have both printers as installed on this machine so we are good to go and we have done with the installation and deployment so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any suggestion related to this Please give uh please post on my email ID which is given here and thank you once again bye bye